We're now looking at question number 12. We'll use this variable approach method to solve. This is again a two by two question, a very common type of question. Here's the original condition. We're going to modify the original condition first with the variable approach method. And what we're gonna do is make a two by two table like this. Now what we do is fill it with the information given in the original condition. Here's math and not math, not taking math. Here we have physics and not taking physics. If we have 60, A, B, C, D, and A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 60, our the two by two table is complete. We have four variables, A, B, C, D, and we already have an equation here. So that means that we need three more equations to solve for the four variables, since we need the number of equations to match the number of variables. But usually condition one and two each only gives us one equation. This makes it likely that E is going to be our answer. Actually, E is going to be the answer, so we'll check that by looking at conditions one and two together. So we want to know what A is right now. But what they tell us is A plus C is equal to 20, and A plus B is equal to 40. And from A plus B plus C plus D equal to 60, we can't solve for A with these three equations. We need four equations, but we only have three right now. That's why E is going to be the answer. Remember, variable approach method was able to reach this answer quite efficiently. So remember this approach well.